Oh, 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 oh. I am operating a dozer. Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the CAT facility in Malaga. And this D7 behind me has got no operator in it. Why, you ask? Because it's got a CAT command system on it. And I'm going to show you some of those critical features that turn this into a CAT command machine that we're going to see being operated inside their whole new technology centre here in Malaga. Let's come a little bit closer to the machine. So D7 right here, one of the classic bulldozers from Caterpillar. The first sign you need to see that of this being a controlled unit is this signal which you'll see around the machine. Then what we're looking at is this light up here that is a blue light. The blue light is telling us that that is in command mode, that the operator station can work with it. Also you'll see specialist cameras around here and around the machine that allow the individual to see what's going on. Come around here for us. Again, as we look at this machine, there's nothing different to what a normal D7 would be. I'm going to go to the most important bit though, folks. All the way around here, we see this small box at ground level. Why is this box important? I'm going to open it for you. We've got a switch in here, folks. This switch is actually going to take us from the auto control all the way to me being able to get inside the cab and that's what I'm going to do now getting inside the cab because I want to have a view of what's going on with the machine so that I can understand the visibility you get from being an operator and the visibility you get from actually being in the station so I'm just going to walk up and get on the machine so we're now inside the machine and you can see there's some great visibility here for the operator but you'll also see that there are some areas on the cab where they've obviously got to reinforce them to actually have this as a safe cab. So we also can't really see the edges of the blade or the front of the blade. But guess what folks, there are cameras around this machine that can help us do that in the station. So I've been inside the cab, I was an operator, now it's going to be a remote controlled. I've just flicked the switch yet again folks, lights coming up here above me that you can see going on to different levels until they then visibly go back to the blue. And when we visibly go back to the blue, folks, we know that basically this machine is ready to go. So let's go back around to see the next machine, because this is a dozer, folks. But Cat Command is not just about the dozer, it's also about this excavator here that we see in front of us. Now, follow me around again, because the significance of this is an excavator moves, obviously, as it's doing its tasks. So, connectivity is really important. Antenna is a fixed antenna on the dozer. There's actually two here. First one is over here, actually at the rear of the machine. That's getting the signal so that we can actually control that remotely. Again, you'll see the lights here and you'll see the camera systems all around this machine. What's really important about this is when it swings and moves around, we don't want to lose connectivity. So as we walk around the machine here, folks, again, it's got the 360 camera systems, but the specialist cameras as well for the command station. As we walk around the machine, you'll see we've come to the area here where, what's happened? There's no box for the switch. What are we gonna do to turn this into a control cat command machine? Well, don't worry, we've got the antenna there, right at the back of the cab for that swing, but we've also got inside here, the little flicks switch that matters. This is the switch that matters, folks. Here we go, we're now back to manual mode. We're gonna have to pop it back up again, just like we did with the dozer, and we're now in the Cat Command mode. And that means we'll be ready to go in the Cat Command Center. So for me, it's time to us to walk into the Cat Command Center. You're gonna love this, folks. It's right here underneath the grandstand. Walk with me, because this is something special. So let's, folks, go inside the actual technology center. Come with me. And boy, oh boy, you might not be able to see me in here, it's quite dark, but this room looks amazing. We start with technology with simulators, with training people to do the job. Then as we move through and follow me all the way down, we've actually got simulators here and there. That means that what we can do is we can get operators to work together as a team, so that enables them to actually do things. So as we walk through the simulators here, folks, we can see some people trialing those out. But this is the room that matters. This is 
cat command, folks. And this is an amazing station that I see in front of us. It looks like a cab. It feels like a cab. But guess what? We're in an air-conditioned space here. We're in a fantastic facility. I feel like I can just walk to the coffee shop, get out of my seat. I'm not going to actually walk down those tracks on any of those excavators. No slips, trips, or falls. And actually, I'm going to be able to get into this command station, as I'm doing right now. And I can see above me that there are the machines. I'm sitting in a cat seat inside an air-conditioned space. Outside from here, just 100 or so meters away from me, is a D7 and a cat excavator. I'm able to do all of the controls from here, and I'm also able to switch from those two machines, one after the other, because all of the joysticks are controlled and ready to match that machine, exactly what we've put in there. I can even do the setup myself as an operator to get myself comfortable, but also to maybe play around with the switches that I prefer certain tasks to be done with. And if you press it forward? Yeah, it stops. stops. Right. Wow. Right. Okay. Let's see that again, folks. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I am operating a dozer. I've done it. I have dozed my first bit of earth. So that's it, folks. It's amazing to go from one set of machines, flick of a switch, into a room like this in Malaga, where I can control those machines outside, but also I can actually go around the world and control other sites and other machines that are connected with Cat Command. This is about productivity, it's about efficiency, it's about understanding how we can go and work in dangerous places and keep the operators safe. It's also, say, I was a disabled operator and I couldn't get into the seat again and I can use all that experience for the benefit of everyone. It works on so many different levels. It's coming all around the world now. People are adopting this and I believe it's the next step for autonomy in which we need to go into this industry. All of the boxes are ticked, all of the things are done, the connectivity is there and the technology is there but fundamentally the brains, remember folks, always the brains of the operators super highly trained operators in this seat and we'll get an absolutely perfect match with safety, efficiency, productivity and ultimately be a more sustainable industry. Well folks, I've got to say that was an experience and a half. Cat Command is here for these types of machines now. This is not mining anymore folks, this is general construction usage. Lots of different applications Jason and if I can do it and if I can sit in this comfy seat in a lovely air conditioned room then why wouldn't you want to try it yourself? Cheers, Jason. Well done, Pete.